NFL Guru here to bring you Week 17 predictions. Let's just recap. Hope you guys had a great, you know, Merry Christmas. I thought hopefully it was awesome. I thought mine was pretty great. You know, caught a little bit of cold, but I'm good. You know, I'm fighting in there just like a lot of these playoff teams are trying to fight for a playoff spot, vie for those one or two seeds as well. Week 16 was a very solid week, nailed a lot of predictions, a lot of heartbreaking injuries with Derek Carr going down for the Raiders, Marcus Mariota going down for the Titans. Sad to see teams like that who are in their groove, who are just winning, nothing but winning, and they get a painful injury like that. It's very sad to see, but we'll see how it goes long term. I think they'll both be fine. I saw Mariota, it's a six to eight month recovery but he'll be back for sure and he will be stronger than ever and same thing with Derek Carr it's only four to five weeks you never know if those Raiders make a run he may return he's a tough guy so we'll see how it goes but let's get started with week 17 picks I got the Bills at the Jets by the way all games are on Sunday so Bills at the Jets gonna take Buffalo this is also a meaningless game but I'm gonna go with Buffalo here Browns at the Steelers Steelers sitting a lot of their guys but they're still gonna win this one Panthers at the Buccaneers going to take Tampa. They're trying to fight for a playoff spot. They'll show up at home. Texans at the Titans, definitely Houston. It's going to be a little bit of a close one, but without Mariota, definitely Houston. Bears at the Vikings, Minnesota, also a meaningless game because a lot of the guys are sitting on both sides. Cowboys at the Eagles, a lot of guys sitting as well, but I'm going to take Philadelphia because they're at home. Patriots at the Dolphins, this is going to be a very good one. I'm going to take New England by this little, but they're gonna barely edge out Miami here Jaguars at the Colts Indianapolis Ravens at the Bengals a hey, farewell Steve Smith you are one of the best receivers of our lifetime of our generation loved watching this kid play he was outstanding and he's going out with the bang good luck to Steve Smith the Baltimore Ravens win this one Chiefs at the Chargers. I'm taking the San Diego Chargers to win this one. And an upset here. They're going to be Kansas City, who's getting a little bit complacent right now. they having a couple of close games. Look for San Diego with the high passing offense to upset the Chiefs. Seahawks at the Niners. Is this even a game? Seattle's going to absolutely decimate the 49ers. Cardinals at the Rams. I'm going to take the Arizona Cardinals to win this one. The Raiders at the Broncos. Like I said, that Derek Carr injury was very sad because the whole NFL was loving that Oakland Raiders team. Look for them and Matt McGloin. He's a very serviceable backup. Plus, they have that three-headed dragon. You can run the ball on Denver. And not only that, with McGloin playing under center, he has no pinky problems. He'll be able to hand the ball off and really utilize that rushing offense. Look for the Raiders to win this one and Get a hold of that number two seed in the AFC. They beat the Broncos. The Saints at the Falcons. Nail biter here. I'm going to take Atlanta because they're at home. I would not be surprised if New Orleans wins this one. But for now, I'm going to take Atlanta. The Giants at the Redskins. Wow, this is going to be a good one. I'm going to take the Redskins to win this one. So they have a good chance of making the playoffs here. And then the Packers at the Detroit Lions. I'm taking Green Bay to win this one. It's going to be a great game. This is Sunday night. Football, by the way, but I'm taking Green Bay to win this one. It's going to be for the division. Look for the Green Bay Packers to finish strong and win this division, getting hot at the right time. Finally, fi fantasy players, we got quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Got to start him this week. Sit Trevor Simeon. He's rotating him with Paxton Lynch. It's not worth it. Running back, start Latavius Murray. Going to be getting 20 to 25 carries this game. And Jay Ajayi. Huge game against New England. Just get ready for it. Sit Devontae Booker. They're playing the Raiders, who are very motivated this week. And sit Matt Forte. We don't know if he's even playing. If he is, he's going to rotate a blow. Powell, I don't trust it. Wide receiver, start Devontae Adams. Great start this week, especially in a game like this where Darius Slay is most likely going to cover Jordy Nelson. Devontae Adams is going to catch a touchdown for sure this week. Also, Tyrell Williams will have a monster game versus the Chiefs. The Chargers want to play spoiler. Start Tyrell Williams. Sit DeAndre Hopkins. Don't trust him this week, especially against Tennessee. And sit Kenny Britt. I think he's kind of shaken up, and he's going to be guarded by Patrick Peterson. Not worth it. Tight end. Start Jimmy Graham. Who's he playing? That's right. The 49ers. He's going to have a great game, nonetheless. Sit, De sit Delaney Walker. Without Mariona, I don't trust them utilizing the tight end that much on Tennessee. Kickers, Matt Bryant. Got to start this guy. He's going to have 
four field goals at least. I was right about Tucker having at least three last week. I'm saying at least four from Matt Bryan this week. And sit Phil Dawson. What team is he on? That's right, the 49ers. Sit him. Don't trust him this week. Defense start the Oakland Raiders. They're going to get us. It's going to be a sack party in the backfield. I'm calling seven sacks for that Raiders D-line. Two for Irvin. Let's go three and a half for Mack. A sack and a half for Mario Edwards. They're all going to have a sack party. Look for the Raiders defense to show up. Sit that LA Rams defense. Don't trust them at all against the Cardinals this week. Finally, sleepers. We got quarterback Phillip Rivers. Love the Rivers start this week. Jalen Richard is going to get a lot of carries. He's a good running back sleeper, wide receiver sleeper. I know you guys keep forgetting about him, but you got to start him. It's his last game ever, man. Steve Smith, got to start him. And finally, Clyde Wofford at tight end. The Raiders are going to utilize the tight end heavily this week against a Denver defense that still has very solid cornerbacks. So look for the Raiders to utilize the tight end. The Raiders are going to be the story of this week. The Raiders and the Packers because both of them are going to win very important games that are going to Raiders will get the two seed and the Packers will get back into the playoffs. So we'll see how this goes. They were there last year but I mean let's be honest this is almost like back into the playoffs because they were an early exit last year. They look like a tough team this year. So we'll see how it goes. There you have it, folks. Those are my NFL predictions. Stay tuned for next week because next week, you guys, is the playoffs. I know you're excited. So stay tuned and Happy New Year. I'll see you guys in 2017. Have a good one.